there's this kind of big fiery ball in the sky and this blueness up there as well. Not used to seeing that up here. <laughs> it's a lovely day, a beautiful morning. Look. Beautiful morning in Wasdale. So it was, uh, I wasn't sure what to do. I thought I'll oh, make the most of it. Tomorrow's supposed to be even nicer, and then the rain's coming back in um, on Monday. So I thought I want to do something fairly decent, but wasn't sure whether to do the squeeze again. So if you watched a couple of days ago, I did the bottom of the squeeze, but went round the lake. But this time I'll go up or uh, drive to the U Barrow car park and then run up um, Red Pike and kind of do a circuit round over Haycock and then down. Both pretty decent mileages, but wasn't sure so. Did the usual doggy dowsing. <coughs> the title of each run on the piece of paper, a little dog treat on top of each piece of paper, and then let Tiggy choose which one she thought I should do. And she chose the choice of the screes. So here we go again. So I've got all the fun and games of the big rocks and stuff, which is good. And then uh, a short, sharp climb up to Winrig. And then once we're on top of the screes, it's a gorgeous up there, kind of a plateau, beautiful running. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. I think from memory, um, it's about 13 and a half miles in total, but we'll see. But I'm in no rush as ever, not racing. So, all good. And yes, a little bit of sunshine coming out is very, very welcome. So here I am on the, along the bottom of the screes. Probably not going to video that much of this because I did quite a bit of it yesterday, the day before yesterday's vlog, so. But uh, I'll take some. So we are just over two miles in. We've just come from up at Wasdaled that way. And we're going that way. But we're on the kind of smoother, grassier paths before we get onto the scree. Still a very strong wind, but pretty mild. Although I think it'll probably be a, a bit nippy on top once I go up the other side. And the forecast said that... Uh, how do they phrase it? The wind may impede walking. <laughs> Which I think generally means you're probably going to have to lean into it. And hold on to your hat because the wind yesterday going up Great Gable was not only trying to steal my hat it was trying to get my glasses off as well that seems to be the case for this holiday very windy my still head's looking good though look at it it is so busy down there for everybody on a Saturday going up Scarfell Pike I think there'll be a queue So I'm going that way, you might just be able to wait and make out the path. Well, I'm about to start the interesting bit, so the scramble. So looking over to the main area, all the cars. So there's a couple of canoes out, and it seems to be everybody's doing their stand-up paddle boarding these days, so there's quite a few giving that a go. Uh, but we're going that way. That's the plan anyway. Think light tootsy thoughts and skip along the top of the rocks. Ooh, a few moving ones. You either want the really tiny ones or the kind of proper scree because you know that's going to move so you're kind of prepared for it, um, or the really big stuff that very rarely moves. Which is what I'm getting on to now. I can tell you got on the bigger stuff because the uh, the noises go deeper. When you're on screen, the rocks are a bit like that. Then you got to the big stuff.
So here we are once again at the other, the coastal end of Waswater, which is always really peaceful despite the pump house going. It's a lovely outflow, so we just come along that way, Ooh, straight into a puddle. Should look where I'm going, and then just round this corner, whereas two days ago I turned right and then went back along that shoreline and back down the road. I'm going to be turning left at this gate and going straight up there, up to the top of Windrig, which is up there, which is kind of one end of the screes. And then once I'm up there, it's a beautiful grassy run all the way along the top of the screes, which is fantastic. So from Windrig to Ill Gilhead. So here we go. Yesterday I went through there. Today we're going up there. So here we are, ready for the up. So we're just looking at uh, um, Nether Wasdale. That's where my parents had a static caravan for many years and much fun was had. And that's where we've just come from. Beautiful. And we are going right up there. And the sun's out. It's fantastic. And just see the sea poking over the top there. Well, that's it. That's the steep stuff done. Up from the valley. It's the Isle of Man over there. And the lovely Sellafield. And then the lower western fells and right up into Wasdale. That's where we're going, up to Winrig. So we've got this lovely little grass path and then the track all the way up. Fabulous it is too. The wind's getting up but uh, it's actually quite nice because it means it's not too hot. Lovely and clear though. No clouds on the tops today. Well almost to the top of Windrig. They weren't kidding when they said Walking might be impeded by the wind. My goodness me, it's strong. Look at that though. Not a bad little view. Good job my shaved head's like Velcro. <laughs> Keeps the cap on. Look at this glorious run all the way along the top of Screes. Grassy past the whole way. Phenomenal. Snap break. Lovely view for it as well. So that's Ilgil Head where, where I'm heading. Good view, but it's enough to make your knees go jelly. I don't normally feel vertigo, but I won't get any close to that bit. <laughs> so they don't win this wind. Just see the path right down the bottom near the lake that I came along to get here. Lovely, lovely. Here we are at Ilkill Head. So I've just been sat down just over there for a second snack. A little sit and enjoy. So we're heading back down into, back down to Wasdale. 
so it's a nice quick descent which is good because that wind at the moment is quite bitter again and you can see nice, nice bits of sunshine about but it's not that warm Fun, fun, fun! Some fascinating old kind of houses. Houses, barns, right upon this main track to burn more. Inside. Oh, this makes me wonder what the history's been, you know, who else has been in here? Did somebody live in here or was it a shepherd's hut or what's the history of it? Amazing. And then here we are heading back down the track. You can see all the cars in the car park, very, very busy. And then we're back. What a lovely trot. So I've still got probably probably a couple of miles to go. It says 9.28, so 10, 11, 12. So yeah, probably 12 miles by the time I get back. And it's been two hours 37, not including a couple of stops. So all good. Coming up to what I call the Hobbit Bridge. I love it. Such a lovely little bridge. Back down to the lake, you can see there, almost to the uh, the main National Trust campsite, and then the car park further on. So I've just got to get across the river and then go back up the valley. So done for the day, so a lovely run. And that's where we set off, along there. See you another day.